One, today is Thursday, March 28th, 2019, and got us another eBay package here. So, uh, this is, comes to us from Zahataran, Zahar, 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 Zartan, um, it's got 159, 98.3% positive, he's only got one negative on there, and I've checked it out, it's for an action figure or something. Uh, so I'm pretty sure everything's going to be what it's supposed to be. Uh, this is... Uh, these are... What did I buy here? Okay. So this is the Transformers Armada uh, guidebook, More Meets the Eye 1 through 3, which I had these when they were, came out. In fact, mine were autographed by the Dreamwave crew, I'm pretty sure. Um, and also this is More Than Meets the Eyes, numbers 1 through 8. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I got sidetracked and I didn't even tell the whole story. When Dreamwave came to town, I had them autograph everything in my store that was uh, Transformers related. Um, in fact, I went out to my folks' house because I've been stashing this out there. Um, oh, come on. What's with this camera? Okay, so you can see this is Transformers uh, number one, the Decepticon cover for the miniseries. Uh, autographed by Pat Lee and here's a picture of him on the back of Pat Lee holding the items yeah I had him autograph uh, the Autobot and Decepticon covers number one god that glare I should have closed my blinds I'm sorry guys so I've got both of these autographed by Pat Lee and uh, these were the only things that were autographed by the Dreamwave guys that I kept everything else uh, I sold off and now I'm seeing the stuff on eBay going for stupid amounts of money. So, um, he charged me this, I think I spent a total of $87 uh, for these items. Um, one was a little bit more than I wanted to pay, well, they're both a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but uh, they were, I, I could live with them, so it was like 50, 40, $69 plus $18 shipping. Um, so what I thought was, man, it's like, uh, he, com he, com he took he combined the shipping, but he charged me full price for the shipping. And so I'm like, well, that's not cool. But I'm looking, and he spent $16.45 just on the mailing alone. And I'm like, dude, you know, so that's $1.60 or $1.55. Or is it $2.55? I can't do math right now. Um, I think it's another dollar. Yeah, $1.55 on packaging materials. I'm like, man, they, what, you know, that's, a lot, that's a lot of money to be sending for something that could have been sent out in you know, just a few dollars. Uh, so Priority Mail, I ordered this Sunday night, um, and it went out Tuesday, because Monday I didn't see anything on the eBay about it. Tuesday I did. Tuesday I did. But he spent a huge amount um, uh, just for paying the shipping, you know, and wow. Well, okay, so let's get this out of the way here. Uh, but you know, some people are, you know, retentive about their comics, so some people probably might have appreciated it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, me, on the other hand, not so much because the stuff that I like uh, typically has little or no value. But what I'm finding now is the stuff that I like is now starting to become hard to find. And you know how it is with comics, they, uh, in order for something to, have to be worth something, at some time it has to be worth nothing. Which, the stuff I do like was once upon a time worth nothing, like the old image and the old Valiant. And even this Transformer stuff, I mean, I remember back in, like, after Dreamwave folded and became Dream Engine, you know, um, after all that, and, man, it's like trying to sell Dreamwave is, the Transformers was like impossible. It wasn't until IDW took it over that it really started to get into something. So, what do we got here? We got issue number one. And I probably should. Dang it, why did I not mess, do something with my camera? Maybe I should move it farther back. Alright, so. Okay, so this camera still has the kinks in it where. Um, It'll it'll drag the camera with on the wire, but here's an issue number one um, Number two God, wait, that glare. 
Okay, number three. Number four. Number five. Got a, got a glare, I'm sorry guys. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Okay, and then here we have the Transformers Armada more meets the eye, and I'm still looking out for the uh, numbers one, two, and three. I'm still looking out for the Beast Wars. Um, and I had those two. I had the Beast Wars Omnibus, which, man, it had like all the Beast Wars, because the Dreamwave Beast Wars stuff was such a good read. It was amazing. And trying to find that on here is really hard. Uh, even finding it, and then, you know, of course, the price on there. So it's going to be uh, pretty something. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have, while we're doing this in the background, while I'm talking here. So um, I'm going to be looking on that. And, uh, and you know, you guys are going to hate me because I'm going to open these up and I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to scan them in. And the comics are going to be, uh, uh, it's either going to go one or two ways. It's either going to work and, and I'll be able to keep the comics intact or the comics are not going to be intact by the time I'm done with them. Uh, they are definitely going to be changed because I'm going to be scanning them all in. Uh, Similar to what I did like my Marvel Masterpieces, which, weirdly enough, the Marvel Masterpiece card, the magazine, the comics, I was able to find those for like a buck, you know, here and there, you know, but, you know, and those, I, my thinking was those are definitely worth way more than this stuff is. So, so we'll, we'll do this here. Okay, so you can see that picture of Unicron here, I'll just have him hanging out here. Um, which are, I would think they're definitely you know, worth more, but alas, you know, finding them is not. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to bring this video to a close here before uh, too terribly long. And so what we're going to do, I'll just have that one finishing us up here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sometime, and it might be sooner than later, but I'm going to cut them up and scan all the pictures in and post them on the, on the website so everybody can enjoy them. And of course, I'll make a couple videos for those as well when they do come through. So, go ahead and wrap this up. And I've got a good jump on Saturday's video already. Uh, so, keep an eye out for that. And that should be coming up. Uh, I was actually able to scan in a whole card set within two hours last night. And that was just, I couldn't believe it. So, um, anyways, back, back to the, 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 the uh, set eBay seller here. So, everything was what is described, you know. Um, I haven't opened them yet, so there could be coffee stains, but I, I doubt it. So he has 98.3% positive feedback, 149 transactions. And I looked at his stuff that was on there, and it was like some uh, some interesting stuff. So I like some Transformers comics, and I'm like, oh man, I'd like to have those again, but then I wouldn't. And then again, I'm like, maybe I wouldn't want to have those again. And he's got some action figures on here, so he's got some neat stuff. Um, so uh, you know, the, I I think he's got some cool stuff up in there. So you know, feel free to take a look for yourself and. Uh, you know, maybe you might talk to them before you buy them and say, hey, you know, you don't have to send these, you know, super perfect package like these are. But if, one thing is for sure, if you pay for shipping, you get your money's worth of shipping because these things uh, probably could have gone through a wrecking or a hurricane or something. And as long as the package got here, they were, they were fine. They were definitely open. Oh, he's got the Masters of Universe evil icon. So uh, jump over this real quick. Um, he's got... Oh, come on, computer, what's going on here? Running this in high def is kind of... Okay, so this one right here, uh, the Beast, I, I had both of these also, but this Trap Jaw one here was an amazing read. I, I, I had that, I read it, I was like, oh my God, it is such a great story. Um, so if you ever get a chance to read that one, I recommend it because it's such a good, such a good story. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to wrap this up here, and I will catch you guys in the next one.